Okay, then we're going to have a look at our fixed cost. Now, it's very important here once again that you understand all these, all these new concepts. So if we have a look at fixed costs, those are the costs that are incurred irrespective of the number of products that's produced. That would be the rent. It doesn't matter whether we make one pair of shoes or 20,000 pair of shoes, we have to pay rent. Also, we have to pay rates and taxes. And like Ashraf said, insurance. We have to take the cost of these things and we have to spread it all over, the whole, over this whole section. Okay, another important concept Remember, at this stage, we're dealing concepts, we're dealing terminology. You may be asking yourself, why are they doing this? Why, why is Erika and Ashraf dealing with concepts? What we're doing is, we want you to understand these concepts. We want you to be able to relate to these concepts so that when we get into the ledger accounts, you're already okay with what we have done and it makes your understanding much, much easier. Okay, the variable costs. What are those costs? Costs that vary in accordance with the number of products that are produced. Very simple. The amount of electricity you use would be a variable cost. Very simple. If you produce more products, you're going to use more electricity. Just be careful that your production must take place when ESCOM is not doing load shedding because then you would, be, you would, you would have serious problems. And Erika is laughing because she's been a victim of load shedding just yesterday. So what we're saying is, be careful. Make sure your planning is, is in accordance to ESCOM's load shedding as well. We're then having a look at the production cost. Those are all the costs that's related to the production of a particular product. So if we have a look there, that would be the direct materials, the flour, the leather that we use to manufacture that particular shoe, the direct labor, the, the person that actually assembles and makes this final product, and then the factory overheads. Now remember what we said about the factory overheads. Those are the things like the insurance, the depreciation. Okay, and we'll take you at a later stage in more detail into those particular ledger accounts. Okay, so what we've done for you in today's lesson. In today's lesson, we've introduced the section on manufacturing. We've given you an example by using the paper chain, Erica. They actually hands on. So they've done an activity. They know what we're talking about. They can identify with labor, they can identify with resources, they can ident identify with overheads. And now what we want you to do is go back, make a list for yourself, try and write down these concepts and see from memory if you can identify with them, if you can list them and make sure that you understand them before our next lesson. It's also very important to understand this section. It's very important to go through examples. Like a person who makes shoes, a summer, somebody that bakes a cake, or somebody that manufactures a car. Go through all the articles. How do I classify? Which is my direct materials? Which is my indirect? Which um, person is fulfilling the duties of uh, direct labor? Or when is it indirect labor? It's very important. And the only way to understand this is to go through actual, um, uh, actual situations of what, what's happening in this particular um, situation when oh, making a particular product. Absolutely. And so now what I would suggest that you do is go and bake a cake. And when you finish baking that cake, sit down and identify all what you've put into that cake and relate it to our lesson today. So happy baking. Until the next time, cheerio. Goodbye. Summary. In this lesson, you investigated manufacturing accounts, manufacturing a paper chain,